Hey guys, we're Rigor of Pimsy, and, and welcome back to the Age of Calamity <laughs> DLC. And I spent a bit of time doing the grinding for Pimsy because she wasn't going to do it herself. And no, don't do this. <laughs> there is a specific order I need you to do these things in. This is the first one. Okay. So you can complete the top secret request, and we have now unlocked the Master Cycle. A very killer weapon created by the Royal Ancient Lab based on a divine beast is destined for a hero. As described in ancient text, as per Princess Zelda's wishes, she is the pilot of this creation, not Link. Oh, interesting. So it's a Zelda weapon, it's not a Link weapon. There you go. So the Master Cycle is now unlocked. Okay. 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 So the next one you want to do is at the top <clears throat> of the Master Cycle one that we've just completed, but you might not be able to do it straight away. Wait, can I do that again? To get another master cycle, but don't do that again. Huh. So that this one. requires what does this require? Battle, battle records. records. Okay, I don't know how to get battle records. Uh, all right. Well, uh, yeah, I guess you can do that one because it's not required for the other one at the top. <coughs> There's plenty of materials as well. Can I do the other ones or not? Uh, I think so. Again, when it comes to doing things in a particular order, it's also... Ooh, Master Cycle Sentinel. That sounds good. Uh, yeah, you got plenty of stuff there. Basically what I did is I went through vicious monster battles, but obviously that didn't give me battle records, so we'll have to do a bit of that ourselves, but that's fine. Um, can I do these or not? Yes, you can do those because I kind of anticipated that you would just immediately <laughs> spam everything that I tried to do and, you know, didn't have time to get more of. Uh, I would not do that one. Uh, that one again is also a bit dicey. Basically you need to have at least six vicious monster Your reports to do the final two um, Well we can do more vicious monsters. Final no challenges. Biggie. No biggie! Yeah. So. Uh, but you also need to make sure that you kill enemies using Link's flail. So you can do these, yeah. But you can understand why I was initially hesitant to let you just go free and, you know, do all these things, considering that some of them might have an overlap with other missions that we don't know whether we need to do or not. But it looks like, so far, all these nice. things are, are good. Well. There we go. Yeah, so I did a few vicious monster battles. Um, I've tried to make sure that there is enough materials to do the final challenge of DLC 1. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, you got the Gallant Hero Spear. Nice. Uh, I think that's a special one as well. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, it's, it's got it's a locked. lock symbol. Yeah, okay. It's a special one. Mm -hmm. um, so I tried to do the Vicious Monster Battles it's to make sure we got enough for the challenges at the end of DLC 1. We still have <laughs> one... I'm not allowed to use Vicious Monster. No, don't do, don't do Vicious Monster stuff because that's required for unlocking Ooh, the extra character. Champions. I know, but it's not as good as a different character, is it? So, so I'd say the next sort of mission we want to do is a linked mission to do Master Cycle stuff, uh, to do uh, the Flail. And then we can unlock the next challenge above after the Flail, and hopefully we can get more battle records that way. Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't think you need hidden battles for anything. Mm. I'm just realizing now that there are lots of green flashing icons on missions. I think we actually want to take the requests from the Sheikar sensor off so that we can actually see what we want to do. But, well. Why? Because it'll make it easier to sort of pinpoint where we need to go. Oh, but what's that uh, thing that just unlocked there? The pot thing? What pot thing? The one you literally just unlocked. Uh, down. Uh, fruit kick. Right. Down. 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 Down, that down, one? down, keep going down, left, down. That. that one, the one you just unlocked. Discount you So you get more of a discount, good. okay, yeah. yeah. A wonderful epic. <clears throat> Again, it, there, it's not gonna help with getting battle record stuff, but it'll make it easier for materials oh, it's if good you can for buy buying them, stuff. So. Um, so, yeah. You wanted me to do the Divine Beasts last time. You don't want me to do that anymore. No, no, the Divine Beasts are required as well for unlocking the last character of the main post-game. Yeah, Lionel Trophies are pretty difficult to get, so unless you're going to be using Sidon, I'd leave that for now. Terracle! Terracle! 
Yeah, you got those. I need to unlock all these anyway. Um, not necessarily. I do at some the, point. The, the quests related to characters don't re unlock new characters. They just make the existing characters better. It seems I've grown stronger. But yeah, having the Master Cycle bonus combo make using the <laughs> Master Cycle better. So. I know. Uh... Nah. You're not using the Great Fairies. I might be forced to a situation where... Yeah, I and mean, if you're forced into that situation, we'll deal with it then, but... I'm pretty sure, the, the, because the Great Fairies are a secret character, they can't force you into using them for a mission. Oh, I'm gonna take that one off, because that one's Korok. Yeah. So that's probably why there's quite a lot of green flashes uh, we to get all the Korok seeds from well, yeah, the Yeah, because all of these ones require Koroks, don't they? Oh, no, Hinox and Stone Talus, but again, you can probably take that off because you're not using Hestu. At the top there, you've got Derek as well. You probably... Um, hmm, Ethereal Stone, I don't know what that's used for, but yeah. It doesn't... It doesn't... That didn't take off loads of stuff. No. Um, I've got this one on. Mm -hmm. This one. Oh, so that's Ethereal Stones as well. So Ethereal Stones seem to be yeah, used for quite a bit. Yeah, and then I've got this one on. For Ethereal Stone for again. Ethereal Stones. For... So I think that what it's You're probably here. highlighting is stuff that I've got here, mm -hmm. which is... Why can't I do that one again? Because it takes Vicious Monster stuff and you need Vicious Monster to unlock the last character at the, the right. So you don't need to complete this challenge to do the final character for this thing. You just need to do a thousand enemies of the flail and then get 15 battle records. What's that one? Flail's copy. Was yeah. Relatively. I'm using the flail anyway. Right. Um, yeah, see, that took off quite a few. Yeah. That wasn't highlighted before, was I it? I don't think it was. Huh. Strange. Ah. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can unlock the first. No. I'm hoping we've un just unlocked the second weapon from <clears throat> DLC 1. I'm hoping we can unlock the character from DLC 1. There is a another character in DLC 2, but that means going through three different DLC story missions. And the final character <clears throat> of the post game is still a fair bit away because you have to complete lots of different challenges. Am I allowed to eat min mini eggs? I mean, you can eat mini eggs, but it's very crunchy for people it who is. It is very crunchy. Well, do so it, maybe, just... maybe you should. Uh, control yourself, because the crinkle is, is even worse sometimes. ASMR. <laughs> I guess if people are like into that, uh, I don't know anyone that is though. So to be fair, most people are like, "Oh, someone's eating while I'm trying to listen." Blah. But then no, ASMR uh, probably won't be picking up as strongly. But because these are omnidirectional, they're uh, more sensitive than the you know the. The, the set in place ones that we have. It's gonna so. give me gold from this action. Oh yeah. Uh, Gulping and slurping. The way that everyone likes. It. Make it rain. Alright, so I'm gonna get up all the stuff I need I had last time up because I got rid of it and I realized I need to get that back now, so. Uh DLC challenges, age of calamity. Oh nice. We're actually in a wide open area this time rather than having to do all the mountains. DLC 1. There we go. Uh, ah, that's not Also, I can't remember if I got this stuff on my phone or on the, the laptop. So. Oh, I managed to back okay. myself into my phone. These are general tips. That's not what I was looking for before. Come on. Why aren't you going anywhere? Oh, because I'm still back to. Mm -hmm. Uh, this way? I'll go over. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, so it's 30 on this little tree. So we need <coughs> battle records. So. The Chief of the Dunes Challenge lets you easily farm for ba battle records as you are required to defeat 900 enemies before battling a more Vega. Completing this battle allows you to obtain as much as 10 battle records. To obtain battle records, you need to increase the number of KOs you have before ending the challenge or battle. You will receive one battle record for every 100 KOs in a battle. 
Though where I went wrong with doing vicious monsters is I was killing singular vicious monsters, like I could only kill moblins or limels or something like that. Though it seems like this is a, uh, it's a material you get for wiping out tons and tons in an army, which I wasn't doing, so that makes sense. Wait, wait, what material? Battle Heroes. records. Oh, right. So they recommend. So I should get battle records from this, right? It's a divine beast challenge, so it might be a bit different. So mastering remote bombs might be the easiest one. Maybe chief of the genes. Let's see. We'll see. Get there, bonk. I mean, you might get battle records for doing it as a divine beast, but I would think they would have put that down as. It a, was highlighted. Hey, it's easy to... It was highlighted, so I'm hoping that that'll be... So, ultimate keys. Hopefully we can figure out what would be the best one. So, Chief of the Dunes. It's a level 31 to 40 challenge in the Gerudo region. Defeat 900 enemies and defeat one more leader. And then we've got Master of Bombs. Level 1 to 10 challenge. And defeat 100 per problem. So this should do it, by the way. Watch out. Nice. <laughs> so, mastering remote bombs might be the easiest way <clears throat> to do it. Chief of the Dunes will be the most time effective, time efficient way of doing it, I think. Because it's like you Well, the ones spend... I've already done, though. Can I not do a new one? No. You've done all of them now. Battle records are just Aha! yeah, I've got you got that. Stuff. Yeah, I've battle got records are just materials you get for killing enemies. It 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 doesn't really matter which mission you do. So I <laughs> guess you could do a story DLC mission if you really wanted to. And you I just done all the other missions. All. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That I'm just going by what they have recommended is like the quickest and easiest way of doing it. Why are some of the shops? Out. There isn't a merchant here right now. Because they travel. Really? Maybe. I've never noticed that before. I mean, for stables, yeah. Merchant... I've literally never noticed that before, ever. Merchants will always be at <coughs> shops. They might not be at stables. See, look, there's missions down here that I've not done. Yes, and I do think those are required... One hit fill, yeah. Those are required to do for the last character of the main game, but because they're like fairly simple challenges, I don't think we should really bother doing them now. I simple? Think should... One hit failure? Yeah, but you're almost twice the level. Right, let's let's prove that I'm shit at this. Okay, we will prove that you are shit at this. I need movement speed up. And perfect dodge timing and things like that. That's always very handy. Definitely need perfect dodge, yep. Um... We do charge special, probably useful, but yeah. Depends on how much, uh, how many enemies you anticipate facing. No point. Looking effects, ten, no, twenty percent. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to get up the. How to unlock the Ooh, last sorry. playable character of the last DLC. Well, I might as well do that one because I get hit one to die anyway. Yeah, sure, if you want. You've got plenty of meat, all stats crabs, plus and fifteen percent. Yeah. Oh, that's. What do you think? I'd go all stats plus fifteen. Is that if affects your damage as well? Hang on, what's that one? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, well, that's good. Because, like, wait, did I not do it? Uh, I don't know. Apparently you didn't. Yeah, um, I'm going to do that because if I get hit, I'll die anyway, so... Mm -hmm. No biggie. Don't matter. Oh, there's two characters in DLC too. Okay. So three total. No, no. So... You have got... I didn't use flight. No, hang on. I'm trying not to die. Never mind. <laughs> You've got four characters left to unlock. One in the main post game, oh! one in DLC one, two in DLC two. Hey, I've got loads of it. Oh, fire Lionel. Oh yeah. Do I even have? Yeah, I do. 
Oh yeah, in the Vicious Monster stuff, there's loads of whiz robes and stuff, so I got loads of, uh, you know, rods to use. But yeah, I'm hoping the fire line will be very easy to kill, because otherwise, you will be proven to be shit at this. Uh, I need to come on to DLC 2. One hit failure is not easy. Right, that's one of the key enemies. Mm -hmm. So. Don't get hit. I see. I'm. Oh, okay. Uh, Fire Guardian, it you. Right, okay. So, to unlock one of the characters in DLC 2, you just need to play through all of the story EX missions in the DLC 2. Uh, you don't need to do all the memory quests, you can always go back and do them later. So that's that. Um, and then the last one... Don't hit me, don't hit me. No, bad, 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 bad. Right, okay, what are you? You must be... Right, you're an ice, so... I'm gonna do that. Zap him. Hopefully they all die this way, Hopefully. where I just literally block them and then they die. But the line rolls the hard bit. Right. Oh, no. Okay. What? To unlock the final lockable character, you need to go to the EX memory quest, the Yiga Clan Retreat. You'll need to play through the first few EX memory quests that are going to appear. As you play through, you'll notice smaller memory quests within larger quests as a whole. So then you complete the final memory quest marked as, uh, you know, blank question marks to unlock the character. Go away, go away, go away. I don't like any of you. Go away, go away, go away. Uh, the Yiga Where Clan's is retreat is played like an escort mission. Okay. So I don't think we've done the escort mission yet, so it might be that when when we do the no. next DLC story That's mission, it. we'll be able to uh, do this one. Sorry, I'm really no, trying no, to concentrate yeah. right now. This exactly. is really, really difficult. Like... I mean, I'm, you I'm are, saying that, like, I'm not... You're twice the level, and you've got the rods to do If, if I didn't have the rods, then this would be a lot harder, I think. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! You let go too early! I think I got it. Is that it? I, well, I don't yeah, know if there's it. any more to it. No, you got it. Oh, I actually did that better than I thought. Again, I think using almost the dubious, twice the level. I think using the dubious food was really good, though. Oh, yeah, definitely, because obviously max health doesn't matter. Yeah, because uh, I've died with one hit anyway. I believe I heard a kitty, but I don't know what the kitty was actually doing. He just grumbled, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I'm, I actually kind of surprised myself there. Huh? And you needed Hinox trophies and Lionel trophies anyway, so... I did. I did. Oh, you got another challenge for Zelda. Cycle, so. Okay. I think it makes sense. Kind of. Well, you don't know how the Master Cycle plays yet, so... I'm assuming it plays like really a bow. really enjoy it. Like, I'm assuming that, like, you'll play as part of, um... You'll shoot, like, as if she's on a horse. You don't think it's going to be using the horse itself? I don't think so, I think... Okay. So. What would you do? Tricks? Yeah. Do spin outs and all sorts of things like that. Ooh. A big heart. Oh, I ain't got Lionel Horn. You haven't got Lionel Horn. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Um. Any shot? None that are flashing at you now. Right, so you said. That it was a Yiga one. So I think what you need to do is you need to go to the big EX mission to the right a little bit. That one. Yeah, do that and then it'll probably unlock. Because this is the Obosa and Riju related mission as well. So it makes sense that it might be uh, this one that's done afterwards. So a thousand of all my enemies is good because that gives us battle records. Wild berries is whatever. Uh, we don't know what the last one is. So what's it called? Liberate the Ancient Lab. Only tell me if it's something I'm not going to get. Yeah, of course. Uh, memory quest. Uh, oh. Okay. You have to use Riju. 
for the memory quest. For the whole thing? Not for the whole thing, but you do have to use Riju for the memory quest. It's fine, I use Riju. I'll have to use Riju. I'll probably use Riju more than Verbosa anyway, because she plays better. Yeah. Take a rune damage. Oh. Mm hmm. Don't want my Wild berries only appear in breakable wooden crates. There's two near the beginning, one near the electric whiz robe, and one near the high jumps all the way to the west. I assumed that would be the case. So you'll have to do a little bit of exploring, but you love doing that anyway, so that's fine. I do. I feel the same. To be honest, I'm not so bothered about finding stuff in chests and like crates and stuff, because I know I'll be fine with that. Mm -hmm. But it's the, you know, like the yeah. kill this specific enemy in this specific place or in the midst take of the this calamity, thing. The royal ancient uh, lab was I'm captured by monsters and the researchers were forced to flee. Urbosa and Riju bravely led troops to the lab in order to liberate it. Facing monsters armed with weapons stolen from the lab, the most elite Gerudo warriors advanced into the Breach of Demise. But there was more than just a monster horde lying in wait for them. Waiting. You'll see. A Morduga!